Level blueprint is a type of blueprint linked to a specific level. Each level can only have one level blueprint and it's unique to that level. So if you write some code in one level blueprint, that code won't be copied to other. It's only linked to that specific level. To open level blueprint, click this icon on your toolbar and click open level blueprint. At the top, you can see for which level you opened blueprint. In my case, it's third person map. As you can see, level blueprint is simpler than class blueprint. It only has my blueprint panel, event graph, and details panel. If you're not sure if you opened level blueprint or class blueprint, you can look at bottom right corner where it says level blueprint. And if you open class blueprint, it will say blueprint. Level blueprint is used for level specific events, like opening doors, playing music, starting cutscenes, or if a player overlaps trigger box and a building collapses, stuff like that. Level blueprints are perfect for managing events that affect multiple actors or components within a level. If we wanted to play some music, we can open level blueprint, add event begin play node if you don't have one, and add play sound 2D node. Select the sound or music you want to play and click play. As you can hear, we are playing some music when we start our game. We also have sub-levels, they are smaller, separate parts of a larger level, which can be loaded and unloaded independently. They can be used to program specific things in your level. Maybe you want to have specific level blueprint, just for music or lighting. To create sub-level, go to Window and click Levels. If it says this feature is disabled when World Partition is enabled, Go to Window, World Settings, under World Partition Setup. Click Advanced. You will see Disable World Partition and click Disable. Go to Levels. To add sublevel to this level, go to Levels, Create New. You can choose, do you want basic or empty level? I'll choose empty level and click Create. And I will call that sublevel, sublevel 01. Here you can choose location where you want that sublevel to be saved. And click Save. Sublevel that is currently selected will have this blue highlight, and to select different sublevel, you can double click on it. It's important to note that any items you place in your level will be added to the currently selected sublevel. For example, if you have a specific sublevel selected and drop a light into your level, that light will automatically become part of that sublevel. If you select that light in your level in bottom right corner, it will say that it's located in sublevel 01. If you click this eyeball icon, you can hide sublevel and light will be hidden. To open blueprint for your sublevel, you can click this icon here. And at the top, you can see level's name. Now I will disable music that I have added in my main level. Then I will add music to my sublevel. Compile my blueprint and click play. Unfortunately, I don't hear any music. For me to hear music, I have to right-click on my sublevel and change streaming method to be always loaded. And now if I click play, I can hear it. If you want to make new levels, you can go to File, New Level. Here select what level type you want. I'll select Basic and click Create. I will click Save Selected. For that level to be saved, I have to go to File and click Save Current Level. Here I can select location where that level will be saved. Here I can put name of my new level and click save. In my maps folder, I can click on any level to open it up. Now if I go to open level blueprint, at the top it will say new level, name that I put for my level, and that blueprint is associated with that level. If you want to open that level every time you open your project, you have to go to project settings maps and modes, and change editor startup map. Here you can select new level, and now every time you open that project, that map will be opened. 